I just know something bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. But there is a half eaten body here. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your boy Kasha Mugen here today, and I am with Kasha the Paladin again. So, yeah, we, we're about to get on her diagnosis to her powers. Sure. So, first and foremost, she has divine protection, that bubble she does to protect herself. Just give her shields that pretty much keep her alive for the duration of five seconds. You know, before she dies, which is 24 8, you know. That saves I think her they life get for five it, seconds. She also has another ability called Blessing of Protection, which does the exact same thing. The only weakness to this is magic can hit her. Hey, that's pretty good. And last but not least, she has Lay on Hands. This is probably the best ability for every paladin out there. She literally can heal herself to a hundred max. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. But it takes all of her mana away. Ah! So I have to make for dag sure that she don't waste it. Dag sure. <laughs> but before I even took another step, I kind of just wanted to let you guys know that she's about to hit level 9. Canada. Ah! There it is. That's the level I was talking about. That is level 9. At level 10, she gets trait points that will determine what class type she wants to be. Healer, tank, retribution. I don't know what's at the top of this tower, but I'm gonna go look. And while she's making her way up this tower, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and make sure you tell me what your favorite part of the video was. Bruh. What can I do for you? So this is just a back quest, which is called Protect the Frontier. It, it's not bad, but you don't have to see me kill every individual one with Kasha. Just when something significant like this happens, I get low on health and start freaking out. Jinxed. Buddy, calming down. I'm not getting a kill. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let's go way too soon there. Sir. Oh my goodness. One down. Get jumped, I'm fine though. Please don't come to me. I spotted about 50 bandits just chilling over there while I'm fighting this wolf. But why is there a cow on that side of the room? I'm just happy I didn't die that time, man, because you know they'd be trying to get away with it. Okay, he's down. Pause here. Y'all won't be able to see this too well, and this is as far as I can zoom, but there is a Half eaten body here. But that ain't no half eaten what? body. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing spared was them ribs. One of the guards, the Murlocs. Not the bears nor the wolves did this, it was the Murlocs. That's crazy. So, guard Thomas lost both of his men, apparently, Greetings. in the woods. And I don't even think he knows about the Murloc threat. They're posing a threat. The next quest was for well linen met. hoods. And I just now got to this point. These quests won't be really shown much of because they're just time wasters. King's I honor. The important friend. stuff. So now I get the liberty of telling you guys exactly what I want her to be in her specs. What we want to do as a healer is go into the holy spec because the holy spec is all about healing. Man, if you don't sit your god. I can go into protection just a little bit if I want to. So Westbrook Garrison needs my help. Apparently they have a problem with giant gnarls, which are like dogs. But yeah, I, I'm on the task. Why not? They definitely need my help. And they're giving off green items? Oh my god! So a friendly fella, who goes by the name of Goofball Man, decided he was gonna take on some of these outriders, which are the gnarls that I have to face in the quest. Very glad he's doing this. And there's Hogger. I'm not even on this quest yet, but I'll help him out. Yeah. 
good info. You should probably pause and read this. He's gonna need a heal. Two paladins are better than one, I can tell you that much. the Harder's Claw. Very nice. Very nice indeed, dude. So, while I'm here, I'll explain some of the stuff that she has going on right now. So, enchanting pretty much gives you, like, stat bonuses on things you are wearing. Right now, she's wearing a green item which gives intelligence, which intelligence scales with mana. But, she has a sword that scales with stamina, so it gives her more health. So, let's say I'm enchanting, and I just basically want to have either more enchanting for, I mean, intelligence for mana, or stamina for health. Basically, that's what enchanting is about. Let's move on. Tailoring. Tailoring is definitely something I want to get into with her, because tailoring is going to help her with her intelligence stat, and it might help her with her healing stats. So, fighting these wild, outrunner, river paws, gnaws. <laughs> G N L L. You smart. They're best to fight with me. They hit really hard. Well, don't get it wrong. Best to fight these guys alone because the tear drop is just so needy. Like by itself. See, that didn't even drop off. It didn't drop. It didn't drop at all. I only have like one of these. It became really apparent to me after I got the seventh one that I should probably show you what these gnarls look like, and that's a rare, right there in front of me. Are you serious? Oh, Mr. Rare. Can you actually fight me? I don't know if you fight. He's so ugly, he's so ugly. Get that stun, get my extra hit. He's down, rare is down. And there's a quest. He gave off a quest. Pretty good. That's a better experience. Alright. But let's get out of here smartly. I don't know what smartly is. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it to the smart folk. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. This has been your boy Kashi Mugen and I'm out. But before I leave, can you please make sure to like, comment, subscribe? And I thank you again, dear viewer, for making it to the end of the video. It means a lot to me.